Oh, uh, hey everyone. <laughs> Welcome back, I guess. Just uh, <clears throat> here at the New Game Plus Productions quarantine bunker, just trying to ride out this pandemic. <laughs> you know, with all the excess downtime that we've all had lately, you're probably wondering why CG and I haven't used this as an opportunity to create more content. And honestly, I've been wondering that myself a bit lately too. But how can I get on YouTube and talk about video game news when the only thing that anybody is thinking about is the COVID-19 pandemic? I mean, you're probably even sick of hearing about it. And what am I gonna do? Just come out and do the same jokes that everybody else is doing. Oh, Corona like the beer. Oh, everyone's buying toilet paper. It's stupid. Yeah, and don't even get me started on the conspiracy theories. I can't tell if black people actually think that 5G cell phone towers are causing Corona or if that's just a conspiracy to make white people think that black people think that 5G cell phone towers are causing Corona or if that's all just conspiracy theory to get people to defend 5G cell phone towers. And, and you know, it's all conveniently obfuscated in the fact that this is the one year anniversary of the free Britney Spears movement. I mean, think about it. Have you seen Britney Spears and coronavirus in the same news cycle? I'm just saying look into it, bro. But you know what really grinds my gears is all these late night talk show hosts that have flooded YouTube in an attempt to keep their show continuing during the pandemic. To help prevent the spread of COVID-19, I'm now shooting the show with a safe, minimal crew of my husband and the creatures of the forest. Oh, who's this? Hello, everyone, and welcome to Late Night from my hallway. Hi. Welcome to my bathroom. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Oh, all of a sudden hosting a, a late night style infotainment comedic news show uh, from your bedroom with no audiences is quaint and hip. But these shows suck and we all know they suck, but we just pretend like they are in solidarity against the coronavirus, I guess. So I'm doing the show from my house in New York and this is how crazy New York traffic is. I'm doing the show from my living room and I was still 20 minutes late getting in. You can die from going to a beach right now, and it's still not in the top five worst things that could happen to you at a beach. When I die, I fully expect my last words to be, at least I don't have to go to the beach anymore. I mean, I'm not happy being stuck inside all the time, but at least I'm not finding sand in my butt crack. Yet! Well, it's not so easy to do what I do, is it? And, you know, I might not have the resources or the work ethic that these other talk show hosts have, but, you know, I put myself out here to to three times a year and I get a damn laugh every time, baby. So call me Sour Grapes. You didn't want my show when things are good. You don't get to have it when things are bad. You can go get your liberal fart jokes elsewhere and I'll be here killing hackers in uh, Call of Duty Warzone and three team match trios. Oh, actually looks like they removed the trios game mode again. Shoot, okay, well, I mean, Activision's a $20 billion company and I'm sure they have the resources to, to create a matchmaking system that'll reliably pair me with three other people in quads. Oh, nope, looks like I'm going back into quads again with a team of two, great, okay. Well, I'm sure we'll, we'll <laughs> persevere through the odds and uh... Set a trap point for your team. I can't live like this anymore. I, I simply can't do it. I never thought I'd say this, but I think I'm getting sick and tired of video games. You know, Warzone was fun at first, but now it's clear that the developers just want me to be cannon fodder for hackers and, and people with friends. I can't even go back to working on my town in Animal Crossing because Tom Nook has repossessed my house after I defaulted on my second mortgage, and Isabel won't let me crash at her place after I called her out for a drinking problem at the last town hall. Video games were supposed to be my escape from reality, but now Governor Cuomo has outlawed experiencing reality. So, I mean, what is it that I'm even escaping from? It's almost like my reality has become a video game. Wait, no, that doesn't make any sense. Oh my God, I'm going crazy. I mean, everything has just been turned upside down. Society used to tell me that staying indoors all day and playing video games was a danger to me or my high school, but now apparently gamers are like the epitome of men's health. I don't even know how serious we're supposed to be taking this thing. Like, how does it spread? Can I get it from uh, mail coming into my house? Is it airborne? Is it like bird box? Oh, no, no, no. Ah! It just feels like the world is, is teetering on the precipice of total civil unrest, but everyone just doesn't know when we're supposed to exactly tip over. I mean, nobody wants to be the first person to lose their cool, but I mean, how am I supposed to know when I'm supposed to abandon my car on the highway for no reason? When am I supposed to light a tire on fire and roll it down the street? When am I supposed to shave my head and flash my to paparazzi? When am I supposed to go completely insane? I mean, I purchased my weight in toilet paper and medical grade facial mask, and if I did that for what's gonna be a pretty bad cold, 
I'm going to look like a fool. So can we all just start taking this a little bit more seriously for my reputation's sake? Ah, oh, that reminds me. I need to re-up on supplies. Uh, hold on a second. I gotta. I have to call my dealer. Thank you for calling Bartholomew Hot Pockets Corona Surplus Store. This week we got a special on bunghole wipes and alcohol. Two for five hundred dollars. Uh oh. Hey Bart, it's me, West. Oh damn! I didn't recognize you there. You look awful, man. What's that? A dead rat on your face or something? Uh, well, I'm doing like a, I'm doing like a rustic woodsman thing. You ought to take that beard out of the woods, man, and put it down old yeller style. <laughs> hey, West, I would tell that beard to just look at the flowers, if you know what I mean. What, what are you roasting me right now? <laughs> Hell yeah, I am. I'm teeing off on your lily white ass. What you got? Nothing. That's what I thought. Now, what you calling for? You need some more TP? Yeah, more TP? I got like 12 rolls. So, yeah, I need more. I got that Charmin Basic, I got Cottonelle, I even got that compostable Trader Joe's brand if you want to wipe your ass with cardboard and feel good about yourself. Uh, you know, I'm really more of a Quilted Northern family. Brave man, you got it. By the way, we're running a special deal today. If you buy two packs of TP, I can throw in some hand sanitizer by Alu Vera. It's a designer. Oh, wow. Now, I'm no doctor, so don't quote me on this, but this stuff is so good, you could basically put it on your food. What, what, what would that accomplish? What are you, the FDA? Do you want it or not? Uh, yeah, I'll take it, thanks. Okay, so what's the total? Uh, I'm sorry, are you asking me what the total is? Yeah, I don't know. How much would you be willing to pay for this? Well, I don't know. I mean, you bought all the toilet paper in town, so, like, 200 bucks? Well, there you go. Send me a Venmo, and I'll have Cletus drop off the supplies. Okay, great. Uh, listen, Bart, I can't thank you enough. Uh, yeah, for... yeah, whatever. Just keep that cash oil coming, you hear? And shave off that beard off your face. The thing's sketchier than the Epstein suicide. Okay, all right. Good Good talking to you. Trump 2020. What? Well, this definitely was not the life that I envisioned myself living only a few short months ago. And while I might not like it as much as I liked my last one, I can either spend the rest of my days bemoaning the changes that have happened, or I can make the best out of this new normal, and I, I hope you'll join me. I think together we'll find a way to resent and ridicule and mock this new world just as well as we did the last one. More importantly, if you have any information pertaining to the whereabouts of Britney Spears, please contact us at the email address below. Uh, if you have any information that results in the discovery of Britney Spears, you may be entitled to a financial reward. The summer's right around the corner, but it's been uncharacteristically cold lately, and based on prior photographic evidence, the authorities are forced to operate under the assumption that Brittany is underdressed uh, and completely hairless, so the sooner we pull her out of that environment, the better. Well, that's all for this week. Uh, like this video and subscribe for future quarantine content, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.